name is Bethany Kavakan, and I'm Associate Professor of Honors in Physics and President of the Alpha Chapter of Phi Beta Kappa at the George Washington University. Let me be the first to welcome you into Phi Beta Kappa. Unfortunately, it's not possible this year to have our traditional Phi Beta Kappa induction ceremony. One of our favorite parts of that ceremony is after your name is called and your friends and family clap and you shake everyone's hand, you'd walk across the stage and you would sign your name into our historical ledger. We're gonna leave space for each and every one of you in that ledger. When we're able to come together again in the future, or if you find yourself in DC when the campus is, is open once again, you're definitely invited to come and sign that ledger. While we can't be together right now, my Phi Beta Kappa colleagues and I, we wanted to tell you more about PBK and to send along our congratulations. Our historian, Phil Troutman, will share with you a brief history of the Alpha chapter, including showing you our secret handshake. And this will be followed by messages of congratulation from the PBK officers, as well as other PBK faculty members at GW. We hope that you're sharing this video and really this moment with your family and friends, be they near or far because behind every Phi Beta Kappa, we know there's such a huge support system. You and they should be so proud. Induction to Phi Beta Kappa is about much more than simply earning a high GPA. Phi Beta Kappa membership implies a breadth of thought and of challenge. Instead of focusing single-mindedly on just one subject, you took intellectual risks. You explored language, mathematics, science, policy, communications, music, history, philosophy, culture, so much more. You made the very most of your undergraduate experience. We hope that as members of Phi Beta Kappa, you continue to embrace that love of learning and that you become an advocate for the liberal arts and sciences. On behalf of the George Washington University and the District of Columbia Alpha Chapter of the Phi Beta Kappa Society, let me be just the first of many to congratulate you. Hello, I'm Philip Troutman. I am the historian for the GW chapter of Phi Beta Kappa, and I just want to welcome you to the chapter, give you a little bit of background on who we are, where we came from, and what Phi Beta Kappa is. Um, we were famously founded in 1776 at the College of William and Mary by students who were interested in all the social aspects of a fraternity, but also the literary aspects of a debating society. Um, they chose as their motto, uh, I can't pronounce the Greek, but the initials were Phi, Beta, and Kappa, which were uh, stood for love of learning is the guide of life. So they were interested in the idea of lifelong learning, and that's a value that Phi, Beta, Kappa still shares today. Um, the next chapters that were founded were Harvard and Yale. There were a few other, a uh, couple of other very elite institutions that joined in the first century or so, but really only about a half a dozen or so, or a dozen. Eventually, Phi Beta Kappa faded to some extent and saw this huge revival around the turn of the century, 1880s and 90s, um, right about the time, coincidentally, that Columbia University in, in the District of Columbia decided to become a national level university. They changed their name to the George Washington University in 1904. We did move to Foggy Bottom in 1912. Um, built buildings around what now is University Yard in the 1920s and started expanding from there. Um, students as early as 1919 petitioned or got up a committee to try to, to try to see if they could get a national chapter. It was very prestigious to have a, a chapter of Phi Beta Kappa and um, they didn't get it. Uh, I don't yet know what happened or, or how far their petition went. But they were finally in 1937, in January, they were invited by the national organization to create a chapter. They uh, succeeded at doing that. And on January 11th, 1938, uh, GW uh, created its charter for its Phi Beta Kappa chapter. We are called the Alpha Chapter of DC, meaning we are the first, alpha, uh, first Phi Beta Kappa chapter created in the District of Columbia. Um, the other schools are the beta chapter, uh, the gamma chapter, etc. And so all the other DC schools followed us years later. Um, there is a stone monument across from uh, SEH, sort of by the academic center, um, commemorating the, the creation of the, the GW chapter as the Alpha Chapter DC. Um, 
beyond being the most prestigious honorary society in the United States, uh, Phi Beta Kappa is an advocacy organization. This is something that are not, not a lot of people really think a whole lot about or focus on in, in terms of thinking about what it means to be a member of Phi Beta Kappa. But um, there is a, a national program of promoting arts and sciences in public life and emphasizing the important role that arts and sciences play um, in our intellectual and cultural uh, life today. And, you know, in the context of COVID-19, you can, you can see how scientific discourse is important for people to understand in, in the broader public. And it's not just something that's walled up inside the academy. And I think that this is a principle that Phi Beta Kappa National stands for. They put their money behind and they have programs of grants and fellowships um, and awards emphasizing the important work that arts and sciences scholars do throughout the country um, uh, participating in American public life. So think about that when you're a member. It's not just about honoring you for what you've achieved and what you've done, but you're a member of the society that has the explicit goal of promoting the ideas of, of, of arts and sciences throughout American life. Um, one final thing I'll let you know from the history is that um, there is a secret handshake and the one that at least that got passed down into the 20th century um, and was published in the national uh, in, in the in the national key reporter in 1936 they describe like this and I'll show it to you uh, each member uh, grasps with the little and ring fingers and the thumb of the right hand they grasp the first two fingers of the other members right hand like this when the hands come together and the fingers spread by twos, thus enabling them to straddle each other before mutually closing on the first two fingers, they wrote in 1936, this hand clasp, hand clasp will be found an amazingly facile and fraternal way to shake a Phi Beta Kappa hand, although hands are now shaken officially only when members are initiated and sometimes not even then, they admitted in 1936. Still, it's fun to know. Uh, it's a secret you can spring on fellow Phi Beta Kappa members. Um, so congratulations on your honor. Thank you very much for supporting the society, and I hope you'll support the society over, over your lifetime. Um, check out the pbk.org website for information on local chapters where you live. Alumni are active in, uh, in a lot of cities across the United States and in, and in other parts of the world. So you can get together, go see lectures, go to other events, meet other people from um, uh, from across the country. Take care. Hello, this is Stephen Trachtenberg, President Emeritus of George Washington University, to welcome you to Phi Beta Kappa. Congratulations on this great honor. I remember when I was elected to Phi Beta Kappa and how thrilled I was on that occasion. And I hope you share that excitement. It's really a remarkable uh, moment and one that uh, I remember and I hope you will remember for the rest of your uh, careers. Uh, it'll be uh, an introduction to some wonderful people, some great occasions, and it celebrates scholarship, which is after all what universities are all about. I wish you well with your uh, careers and post-graduation, graduate school, work, life in general, and um, at this sad occasion when we're all housebound as a result of the coronavirus, I pray that you'll stay safe and healthy. God bless, take care, be well people. Hello, I'm Professor Jill Castle. I'm the secretary of the GW chapter of Phi Beta Kappa. Congratulations on your induction to Phi Beta Kappa and welcome to the chapter. Hi, I'm Lakeisha McClary in the Department of Chemistry here at the George Washington University. Congratulations on being inducted into Phi Beta Kappa. I was inducted 18 years ago at Howard University. It was one of the highlights of my commencement week, as I'm sure it is for you. I hope that you are proud because this is such an amazing accomplishment, one that so few people achieve. While we can't be together this year to celebrate, I hope that you are able to celebrate with your loved ones safely, perhaps enjoying some quarantine baking, um, and just know that we welcome you into Phi Beta Kappa. Congratulations again.
Congratulations, Phi Beta Kappa class of 2021. Welcome to the fold. So great to have you along with the rest of us. Very proud of you. Hello, students, and welcome to Phi Beta Kappa. Congratulations. I remember the pride I felt uh, in 1983 when I joined this particular fraternity, the only fraternity I was ever interested in. Um, and I hope you have similar pride today and also 38 years from today. Congratulations. Hi, I'm Carol Sigelman from the Department of Psychological and Brain Sciences. Congratulations to you for joining Phi Beta Kappa. It's a great organization and you should be proud to be part of it. I'm Jeff Brand former president of the DC Alpha chapter of the Phi Beta Kappa Society. I want to say to all our 2020-2021 inductees, congratulations on all your academic accomplishments. Wear your pin with pride. Keep the tradition going. We are so proud of you. Hi, I'm Professor Mary Che, and I just wanted to say welcome to membership in the Phi Beta Kappa Society and congratulations on a very well-deserved honor. Congratulations, Phi Beta Kappa recipients. Uh, I am Professor Tian. Um, I'm an assistant professor in the Department of Economics. Um, I want to congratulate you um, on a job well done. Um, being a Phi Beta Kappa recipient is quite an honor. Um, I still remember receiving that uh, particular honor when I was a senior uh, in my college, and it was a really big deal. Um, so I hope you know how special you are and how much uh, you know, effort you have to put into your academic work in order to get to this stage. Um, so congratulations again. And um, back in, you know, my school, we um, used to have the chapter president, um, you know, uh, conduct the initiation ceremony uh, in person, of course. Um, and then each of us would have to shake the chapter president's hand uh, using some secret handshake uh, to be initiated into the society. Um, so I don't know what the tradition is uh, at GW, but we're certainly sorry that we can't be there in person to congratulate you. Um, but this is an amazing achievement, regardless of whether you were on campus or not, um, and I wish you all the best in your future endeavors.